últimamente no hemos hablado con él, se está recuperando de su, de su cirugía, pero lo que dije, lo dije con, con obviamente no en el, no en, es una crítica constructiva, ¿no? Para obviamente que, que, es lo que es lo que yo creo y lo que yo veo, ¿no? Para que haya una motivación y, y se pongan las pilas. So, previously, Canelo Alvarez came out and raised his concerns over Ryan Garcia, supposedly wasting his time and talent. Now, the million dollar question, if Ryan was really dealing with anxiety, then how is he wasting his time and talent if he's really battling anxiety? Unless he's not. And Canelo knows something we don't. From them quotes alone, Apparently, Canelo doesn't believe Ryan Garcia anxiety story because if he did, he wouldn't have aired out Ryan Garcia publicly. Since we all know, having a long break due to mental illness is not wasting time and talent. Therefore, I believe Canelo told on Ryan Garcia there. I want to talk about Ryan Garcia. You said some, probably some good words he needed to hear, like a big brother. Have you guys spoken since you've said that publicly? No, no, he's recovering for a surgery. Mm -hmm. But uh, I say in a, in a good way. It, for me, it's a um, uh, crítica constructiva. Mm -hmm. como, como, constructive criticism. Sí, mm -hmm. para mí lo es, because uh, we appreciate Ryan, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not that kind of guy who's gonna tell you, oh, you, you do the right thing and everything. When, when, you, when I saw something, wrong i i i just so say you don't, so you don't think because you we appreciate him if yeah. we don't worry about him okay do whatever you want right that's true we don't so care. you did it out of love yeah that's what you're saying i do want to talk about canelo Alvarez's recent comment he came out and said that ryan garcia is wasting his talent he's not really dedicated how he should be and i agree with him obviously we could clearly see it a lot of people brought up Oh, why would Canelo say that? Because of the fact that Ryan Garcia is coming off on anxiety. Uh, he was battling anxiety, so on and so forth. But apparently Canelo is more informed than we are. Even if you have anxiety, it's okay. You still could show up to the gym. Boxing is a lifestyle. You have to breathe, shit, and sleep boxing. You don't just go to training camp whenever you have a fight coming up. That's not how it works. You have to be dedicated day by day, every day. Like I said, you sleep, breathe, and shit boxing. If you want to become a world champion, you could play any sport in the world, but you don't play boxing. So I see where Canelo Alvarez is coming from. I definitely agree with Canelo because the whole anxiety situation, I was very vocal about it. A lot of fighters deal with anxiety. That's something you keep to yourself because future opponents will play mind games with you. If you tell the whole world, you're afraid. You're supposed to keep a poker face before, during, and after the fight. Like I said before, Mike Tyson, he said he had anxiety before all of his fights. He was afraid. That's what he said. He said, fear is the best emotion because it gets you prepared for the fight. When you're afraid, you're going to prepare how you're supposed to, to prepare so you could win the fight instead of lose. Even Sugar Ray Leonard, he said if he wasn't nervous before the fight, then something is wrong. He liked that nervous feeling because when he goes in the ring, he's on his P's and Q's. He's going to make sure he's on his P's and Q's and doesn't make any silly mistakes because you can't afford to make silly mistakes inside of that square circle. Therefore, for Ryan to claim he had anxiety and pull out of a fight and take a vacation, then come back and pull out of the Jojo fight, it just lets you know where his mindset it's at. Right now is his prime years. He's supposed to be racking up experience, racking up victories. Win or lose, he could always get paid anyway. But at the end of the day, you know, Ryan Garcia took a break and we'll see. He needs a tune-up fight. He needs a fight that's going to build his confidence and get the ring rust out. Because it seemed like when he got dropped by Luke Campbell, that shattered his confidence. He was screaming, tank, 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 tank. But reality hit when Luke smacked him with a hook. He realized, man, if this non-puncher could drop me, imagine what Tank is going to do. And then he went and told Mike Tyson, when Ryan was telling Tank, you too short, you too small to hit me, how you going to hit me? You need a ladder. Not knowing he's next to Mike Tyson. Every opponent Mike fought had more reach and height on him. 
boxing is about a sport where you could take your disadvantages and turn them to advantages. Appreciate the love and support. My man said, battling anxiety is a part of being a champion, bro. Uh, sorry, Ryan. I agree. I completely agree with that. Anxiety is a human emotion. Everyone deals with anxiety. Like I said, Mike Tyson, every time he went in the ring, you will think he's ready to kill somebody. You would have thought he had no emotion, no fear. And what did Mike Tyson say? He said every time he walked in the ring, his heart was beating faster and faster. He was afraid, more afraid, more afraid. But once he get in the ring, he's ready for war. All that anxiety goes out of the window. So you gotta know how to control your emotion and use it as fuel. At the apex last year, that was one of the best uh, fighting experiences I had. It was quiet, peaceful. Fighting's chaotic. When I'm in the locker room warming up, you know, I have these, the ang I have anxiety and nerves. I'm about to go in front of the world. You know, millions of people are watching. My city back home is, is watching and rooting for me. I don't want to let anyone down. I don't want to let myself down. I want to perform in my ability uh, at the top of my, you know, whatever I'm capable of doing, I want to perform at that. And, um, yeah, that, that, like, I'm just, over time, I've got acquainted with those feelings. So when I'm in the locker room warming up, I'm like, here we go again, you know. Uh, and I've learned that those feelings are what keep you alive, what keep you able to, to react in the moment at a higher speed and, and be on, you know, be on your game. But I liked fighting in the apex when it was quiet. Fear is my friend. Uh -huh. I love fear. Fear, fear. fear allows me to reach my highest potential. Mm -hmm. The fear of failing is an illusion. Yeah. Fear is an illusion, but we have to have desire. We have to have something that pushes us. Fear pushes us. Uh -huh. You don't understand that living prepares us for death, our life. It prepares us for death. Uh -huh. You know, even if we die young, it prepares us. So just the fact that we're losing guys like Kobe lose. We're just moving people in our family. There's people dying it's around us all every day, so we prepare for it. Mm -hmm. We understand that, but we avoid it. Do you have any methods for getting through fear? Excuse me? Do you have any methods? Like, how do you, how do you get through fear? What if, if somebody says, yes, I'm afraid right now, and uh, whether it's preparing for a fight or a football game or a business meeting or I'm going to ask this girl out, like how do you, how do you get through that fear? What, what? I just tell you, listen, this is the thing, right? Whatever we do in the sports, life, and when you don't, when that, when you don't have that feeling no more, it's over. Mm -hmm. When you don't get that fear no more, it's over. Yeah. Meaning that it's gotta like that's. That's, that's the measurement stick. That, that's, that's how you know you're going in the right direction. It keeps us alive. Yeah. Listen, you think a deer. A deer comes to a lake. He feels the intention is a lion in the tree. So normally he'll jump 50 feet. But with that fear, he jumped 40 feet. Yeah. You know, it's the flight of it's survival. You know, that's the thing about Ryan. You know, it ain't like he haven't fought at this level. It ain't like he haven't fought under the bright lights. If you take a kid, and he has all the talent in the world. And we take him in the ring, in the gym, in the boxing gym. And he's dominating everybody, whooping everybody in sparring. But when he fights under the bright lights, he's afraid. Or he don't perform the same way. A lot of people call them gym fighters. They look great in the gym, but not under the bright lights. That's when you could say, oh yeah, he got anxiety. The anxiety is getting the best of that guy. Why? Because he's not performing how he's supposed to under the bright lights like he does in sparring. But Ryan showed time and time again that he could perform under the bright lights. He knocked out Duno. He beat Lou Campbell. You know, he had good wins against good opponents. So it ain't like anxiety. He freezes and can't do anything as soon as he gets in the ring. So we know that's not the case. That's why Canelo said what he said. And I think he's right on point. Life out loud before taking down a baddie, I get anxiety. I get it too, though. Facts. <laughs> At this moment in time, is really going to harm him for the rest of his career. This is going to come back and haunt him for the rest of his career. I never heard any fighter, I mean, I could be wrong, but I never heard any fighter come out and say, I'm battling anxiety or pulled out of a fight because of anxiety. That's not what you do. Not at this game. Mike Tyson said this game is 90% mental, 10% physical. It's all up here. If you're already telling your opponent you mentally not okay, you lost half of the battle. 
Brian Garcia and what he's going through in the post that he put out on Instagram about needing time away from the sport. I ask you, what's your thoughts on that? And have you ever felt that you needed a break from boxing? So I was, I saw the, the, the news uh, from uh, Ryan Garcia about he don't want to fight uh, July with Fortuna. I don't know. I was thinking he get Corona or something like that, you know? <laughs> so, but, but I'm not sure about that, but you know, I think he need time to, to be more ready to, to go to different level, you know, after, after this fight with Luke Campbell, everybody was like, uh, was like in shot, you know? Yes. Because I was fighting with with Luke Campbell, I didn't feel any punch from him, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and and Ryan Garcia, he get down with very nice punch from from Luke Campbell. So now I was thinking mm, he have a lot of problem about that. <clears throat> More mentality, you know. More mm-hmm. mentality because he 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 get a, a good punch from from, from Luke Campbell and. And also he get this, he take this fight with Fortuna is very dangerous for him, you know, because Fortuna have better punch for them than Luke Campbell, 100%.